His throws don't do very much damage and doesn't have many combos except that Clover Sense. Yeah, for sure. And Marth also has a sipper. So, mm -hmm. or a straight tipper could easily just stock for high. Yeah. Both of them have a pretty awesome combo game. Really fun characters to play, so we'll be getting an entertaining match regardless of the result. Starting off with Dreamland. Would this be a button check or are they actually going at it? Lila. 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 Looks like we're not starting out on Dreamland as it is not a starter stage for uh, for this tournament. Oh, I know a lot of people have been pushing for it to be though, considering Lila's kind of jank and weird. I could see both Lila and Dreamland as characters, but that's just me. Yeah. Anyway, starting off at Battlefield. Other Dreamland. So basically, with Battlefield, I think Mark has the advantage, just because his smash attacks cover the platforms. Typically. Oh yeah, they definitely do. Uh, Ike will be able to. However, uh, one thing that I think both of these characters have over each other is whenever one of them is in the air, they're gonna have a hard time landing. None, oh. none of them have like both of them have good aerials, but they're laggy. So it's kind of hard for them to land, but these platforms are definitely going to give them that opportunity. Rubino already starting off with the Oh, counter hits. Um, Rubino starting off with the lead, just throwing off his aerial, and it's down but beginning of the match. But Benji slowly coming back. And yeah, and he does pressure. have stage control right now, and uh, it's kind of a battle of the forward air at the moment. Up there. Not the tipper hit, but still some good damage. Yeah, he's good yeah. Oh, and wow, what a counter. Nice, excellent first uh, counter. Use more uh, flesh guarding. You can definitely tell that Rubino kind of knows what he's doing right here. He knows that he kind of just has to space hike out and kind of fade out the boxes. None of them are particularly fast. Nor does he have. Oh, jab one and support, though. Yeah. Normally seeing the job one into forward smash, but forward smash actually works pretty well as well. Yeah, and I think most many characters would have gotten And wow. Oh, Dolphin Slash the almost takes Slash it. out of shield almost. Back air. Probably counter. Oh, no, and he takes. No, oh, he's no. still living. He's still alive. And he makes it back to stage to boot. That's why Benji is such a good player. He, and now he this came is, back. This is kind of scary because. Counter again? Will he li and he oh lives it God. again. Oh, 182 no, for but, 182 percent was the final number for that. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, she grabs. Mark definitely has the edge, edge guarding in this situation, just because uh, he's got that counter. He also has like superior range, and, you know, frame data. But now Benji's playing from behind. Uh, he really needs to take this stock up soon because he might be able to, you know, clutch out the game if he has a good amount of range. But none of that's gonna happen until he takes this first stop. Yeah, I'm in the forward air, right? Yeah. I you know Rizzo really knows he's confirmed and he knows like what he can do when. Alright, so what do we do? And, and Benji, he has he's had stage control for a lot of this match, but Rubino has just been really smart about getting back onto the stage and now he's the one putting Benji in the corner. Benji with the forward kill. Hold the shield at the ledge. Will he have the ledge in this? Uh, if he had oh, gotten that ledge from back there, that definitely would have killed. Would be no throwing out counters. I'm afraid that Benji's gonna make that thing. Oh, back there. Whoa. Oh, it'll take out. Take it. I think yep. he uh, he air dodged in the blast zone, and that's what killed him. But Benji definitely played in the deficit, but I mean, it's possible. Counter. No. The wrong way, I think. Forward air is that throwing out. Oh, he goes to the back air. Good. Dolphin Slash. And that forward air from Rubino, it's uh, it's so good because that tipper hitbox is right at the range that Ike wants to be, and it's just spacing him out. Can we talk about how Rubino just knows that Ike's sword will clip through the stage when he uses the upbeat? Yeah, and he knows exactly when it will happen too. It's kind of nuts. He's really got his timing on point for those edge guards, and that's why it's probably pretty scary to be Benji right now, being off stage at all. And we're gonna see a switch to a different character. Meta Knight and Fox. Meta Knight, Fox, Beast, Fit. Um, Mewtwo comes out. 
Yeah, I still think Mark has it here, just frankly because Mewtwo is a lightweight. Yeah, and he does not have, he has pretty good range, but not nearly as much range as Mark's sword, so. But I mean, who knows, he might have some, com there's, uh, some combos up his sleeve, and that projectile will probably help him out a lot. And uh, throughout that whole set on Battlefield, we didn't actually see a whole lot of platform play, so I wouldn't be surprised to see a different stage being picked that might uh, influence the match a little more. True. Uh, starters will probably, probably be a yeah. good stage that they will go to. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we went to like Town and City either, because Mewtwo, even though he is light, that up throw is going to kill really early, especially on Marth, who's not particularly heavy. Again, Marth is also Marth's up throw killed at 150 as well, so mm -hmm. especially on YouTube. But now we're actually going to Dreamland. now we're going to Dreamland. One, uh, go! Yeah, I think YouTube does benefit from platforms because he can do like his nair and stuff, and his up smash folks can do the platform. But this is looking That's, like the same as last yeah, time. Dancing Blade. Rubino just putting up all this pressure, dancing blades and forward air just being thrown out. Facing out Benji. Benji able to get back on stage a lot more easily with this character though, and I think that's gonna, you know, really help him out a lot. Because now he's the one that's guarding Rubino. Not to mention that Mewtwo has his projectile, so he's gonna be able to space out you know, a little bit better than Spike. He's not gonna he doesn't have to just like out forward and like Spike. Yeah, when he was playing Nike, he was trying to catch a lot of uh, jabs and corners. Wow, this is looking uh, pretty different from the first match right now. Uh, Benji has just kind of been keeping Rubino in that corner for a long time. And he's being really patient right now. He knows that if he overextends, he can catch a tipper to the face, and that could be it for Mewtwo's stock. Wow, that was a, up there. It's not wow, that was a tipper up there. That was, that was scary for you two right there, being such a light character, even after he got buffed. Not enough percent for the skill though. Oh, he tried to edge guard with a nair. With a dare now. Takes a shadow ball to the face. Takes, counters another shadow ball and makes it safely back to the stage. And I think what's like the most interesting thing to know after this character change uh, in the last match, Rubino was winning like every neutral interaction. And he was just like always winning neutral. Every time it got reset, he would be the first one to get a hit. But now. Up air takes it. 120. Wow. Dancing Blade. Right now. Uh, that was a. I did not expect that up throw to kill, but you know, I think that Benji's up throw will kill itself right now, so. Or forward air. Yeah, forward air is such a great move. I believe it's frame 6 and it has a lot of range, not to mention the fact that it combos and kills, so. Uh, definitely probably gonna help him out. Dancing Blade is so great for. Oh, wow, that was a crazy two frames. Yeah, you know, the crowd is getting really hyped for this match. This is a really exciting one. Jab, jab. Goes for the another jab. Jab to forward air. That chipper forward air probably would have finished if he was facing the other way. And Benji now just struggling to get any hits in. Proud disappointed that there's no JV. Rubino is just throwing out moves up there. To up there. Four tilt. And Benji's just struggling to stay alive. Uh, he can do it, but it's just going to be rough with, you know, Rubino seems to be just catching him every time he tries to commit to anything that will give him damage. Oh, oh that's definitely oh, it. Wow, game. a 2-0 for Rubino. I wouldn't call that an upset, but I wouldn't have expected it to be so one-sided. Rubino showing exemplary Marth skill. Mark skills. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know that he had a... Uh, I don't know if he's dropped sheet completely, but it seems that way. Uh, his, like, excellence with Marth is really showing right now. Up next, we have SFS Fahrenheit versus... Uh, I don't think there's...